Hello Adventurers! How authentic are the Indian food in Singapore? Today, I have a very special guest who came from all the way from Mumbai. This Hi! Is, this is Nainesh. Nainesh is an expert in Indian cuisine. He's been eating it for at least the past 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll be helping us to certify if the Indian cuisine in Singapore is authentic. We've picked three very iconic restaurants that yeah. serve Indian cuisine. Nanesh and I will order the top dishes and then we will rank them according to our local taste preference and whether it will pass his authenticity stamp. Yeah. Let's begin. Go. For our first location, we're gonna go to where India Prime Minister Narendra Modi came to eat while he visited Singapore. Kumala Villas! Hey, kids eat for free. Nanesh, will you be my dad? <laughs> I have one at home. <laughs> what are we gonna order here? So today we are gonna order what usually the Indian people do, uh, eat in breakfast. That is a med medu vada. That, that is what you call vada here. Uh -huh. And the other thing, that masala dosa. So these two dishes usually we eat in breakfast in India. So Nanesh, could you tell us a little bit more about Tosai and Badai? Uh, first of all, in India we don't call it Tosai. Oh. It is Dosa, D-O-S-A. Oh, uh -huh. uh, the spelling is D-O-S-A. And, and for Vada, we call it as a Medu Vada. Hmm. It has a donut-like shape uh, in it. Here we come. Oh, right. Here we go. So for two people also, this is too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And it's served with the white chutney and red chutney in India, and sometimes with the sambar. I don't know what difference? is this. This is something looks new to me as well. Oh, maybe it's their special sauce. I also want to try what, what it is exactly. <laughs> so what's the difference between the chutneys? Uh, so this uh, red chutney is made of uh, red chilies and tomatoes, and this white chutney prepared with the coconut and green chilies. Blend it into a mixer, and they make these all two different chutneys. What, what's your favorite? Topping. Uh, usually dosa in India comes with a lot of fillings. They serve with cheese, cheese dosa, paneer and all that things. Is that chocolate dosa? Yes. Oh my. <laughs> chocolate dosa is also there. So these are like new trend. I don't know where it came from. But the basic thing is the authentic dosa is this. It's served with the uh, mashed potatoes sabzi. I have a fun fact for you. Yeah. Do you know that this vadai mm -hmm. is zero calories? No. If you eat the center. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna use the fork and spoon, yeah. but Nanesh was like, in India, you don't use that. So in India, we say that until you eat with your hands, uh -huh. your food doesn't go in your stomach. So I need a hand sanitizer. Yeah. I don't know what I've touched today. Now I'm all clean. Let's begin. We'll start with the vada, medu vada. Medu vada. Yeah, so the zero calories. <laughs> mm. I smell some spices, yeah. fragrant. So on its own, it's very flavorful when you bite into it. The texture is quite crispy, very nice, very welcoming to the mouth. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try with the chutneys. Ooh, I can smell the coconut. Coconut inside, yeah. Mm, there's a slight spiciness. Now with the red chutney. I don't know about your taste, but, but might be a spicy. Is it spicy? I prefer the red chili. The white is white. more spicy. Then. Because it uses the green chilies. Green chilies are usually more spicy than the red one. The chutneys does add on to the whole experience. So definitely eat with the chutneys. Come, cheers. Cheers. Now I need your input on this. Expert view. Yes, <laughs> expert view. Yep, it's quite good. But I feel that it, it has double fried. Double fried. Yeah, it it has prepared already. Kept it for some time. Then I think they have uh, dipped it again in oil. Uh, we saw it downstairs, right? Yeah. But yeah, the taste is quite good. It is quite similar to the what we get in India. Uh, oh. But but the spices, what we are seeing it, they usually grind it and they use to mix it. But here you can see the whole spices are there. Oh. We don't do it because people don't like to heat their uh, like it's a clove inside <laughs> their mouth. So if you bite into it, I'll give you a good kick. Yeah. See, if you, you, if you eat this, then uh, you will lose the taste of the vada. Ah. So this mm. really makes annoying for some people. Because it will numb your whole... Yeah, see, there is again. <laughs> I don't want to keep on removing this. <laughs> I want to enjoy my food, right? So why would I do that? From out of five stars, how many stars would you give this vada? 
for vada i'll give 3.5 mm. and for chutneys i'll give 5 and 5 chutneys are good oh yeah okay komala vilas well yeah. done yeah, for me from a local taste it's very enjoyable so i'll give you about yeah 3.5 as well for the overall taste time for the dosa hands to yeah yeah this has to be uh, with hands only okay <laughs> try with a sambar yeah so it's delicious mm. how is it good sambar is nice and uh, komala vilas special sauce yes it's nice i don't know why it is can i try yeah okay go for it if i ever end up becoming a vegetarian i'll probably live in india this is the first time i'm tasting it but it's really good yeah this sounds right try the white chutney Chutney, chutneys are very fresh like i think they prepare daily basis like usually we you eat like this like you need to potato and this together mm. and then dip in chutney ah. this is out of five stars i would say 4.5 for this the taste is good i like the texture and the flavor of the dosa as well 4.5 as well for me yeah so well done kamala vinas this yeah. is definitely a recommended place to go this is so filling we yeah. still have two restaurants to go for our second restaurant we're going to try north indian cuisine at kansama We're getting the butter chicken. Guess how much for a butter chicken? Is? Maybe twenty, thirty. How much? Nineteen fifty. Fifty. How's the best way to enjoy butter chicken? With naan, because you need to dip in the gravy and you need to enjoy it. Which kind of naan? We should go for plain naan. Some people prefer butter naan as well, but if you spread a butter on it, it will kill the flavor of the chicken. That's all. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So before we proceed, I want to show you a scam happen in India. Any any food you got in spot, okay. you just need to measure the. Uh, <laughs> I know where it is going. Depth, <laughs> and when you enter in this, see. Oh my God! So it's authentic Indian. <laughs> yeah, authentic Indian. <laughs> you use the same bowl. Yeah. Yeah, it's just smelling good. Yeah. yeah. It, it smells very fragrant to me yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's dig in. Yeah. Yeah, it's thick. <laughs> chicken breast yeah mm. it's pretty good yeah though it's a little bit too strong like let me just try let me just take it in my bowl i need to serve with so the same way you did with the dosa oh man i used this spoon <laughs> so this is how you take no, it's good wait. but a uh, little bit on uh, saltier side yeah 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 the salty and the sourness is yes Give me the bread. Let me try again. The smell is good, but mm. the bread doesn't do much with the saltiness. No bad, no. It's not bad. I tried butter chicken in other places. Sometimes it will come in dry, yeah. but this one is quite juicy. How would you rank this? Frankly, if you ask me, the butter butter chicken I didn't really like it here. I don't know by mistakenly or maybe they added more salt. Oops! Or <laughs> it's like spilled <laughs> entire bottle inside. I enjoyed the chicken more than the uh, gravy. Gravy so for 1950, and I was expecting a lot with the good echo and everything. Yep. It's a three out of five for me. Yep. For you? I would say three. Three. Quite like the naan bread, though. You see. Yeah, but it it's it's burned. <laughs> Over burned, it's slightly yeah. burned. <laughs> it should not be like that. Uh, but I have to say, the chairs are like two out of five. Yeah, uh, I think I needed two chairs <laughs> because my, with my size, I am sitting on two chairs now. So I'm the local here, but it looks like Nanesh is the one bringing me around. He's been ordering the food in Hindi because he can speak Hindi to the waiter and waitresses. Wow! <laughs> so Nanesh just got us a discount. <laughs> What do you do? Uh, so I just uh, merely ask him where, from which part of uh, uh, from India you are. Thank you, Nanesh, for good bringing me around Singapore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Looks like the butter chicken is a three point five now. Yeah. <laughs> so for our third restaurant, we're going to this place that claims to be the great granddaddy of biryani, hundred and one years old. Oh, it's a very nice restaurant. This restaurant is famous to be the go-to place to eat when VIPs visit Singapore. Which biryani is your best seller here? Lamb shank biryani. And let's get a lamb shank biryani. So, Nanesh, what makes a good biryani? Low. 
love and affections from mom yeah because uh, in india <laughs> usually the biryani is prepared by mom you should have made it the grandma of biryani instead of granddaddy yeah, i think so biryani prepared in a slow cooking way it really tastes good if it's make like a fried rice or something like that it won't taste anyways with biryani okay so let taste what they are their preparation is we come to know whether it's really authentic or not also comes with some curry and raita just one thing missing is where's my lamb shank ta da ta da i hope lamb don't mind <laughs> <laughs> okay this is a good meal for two person honestly <laughs> I can smell the basmati. It's authentic basmati, I think so. It has its own identity. Uh, it smell. Let's try. Yeah. It's too good. Good. Yeah. Man. Spices and everything is balanced. Even lamb is tasting very well. Hmm. The Lamb shank flavor, really. Fluffiness of the rice, a lamb shank sauce. It blends in really well with the biryani. There's a slight kick of the spice. It's not too much. Just the tenderness of the lamb for me that is uh, slightly lacking. Potato curry. I didn't like it because it doesn't require it. Yeah. It's killing the taste of the biryani. It doesn't really complement with the yeah. biryani. It's very sour. Sour, yeah. Yeah, but the raita is nice to refresh your yeah. taste buds. Raita is good. Mm. How authentic is this biryani? I would say. It is as similar as the Indian biryani, not the daddy, <laughs> but I would say yeah, brother, <laughs> brother or cousin <laughs> of biryani. Five out of five. Five out of five. Yeah. Wow. I like mm. it. Really liked it. So the rice really hits the spot for you. Yes. I really like the rice, but I think the lamb shank is slightly lacking. Yeah. And after eating a bit more of it, the spiciness is, is overwhelming me. I think it's four out of five. When I also give biryani a five out of five, but for lamb shank, I would go with you four mm. out of five. Yeah, really not bad. Worth a try. Definitely order one plate for two percent. Yeah. I don't see myself finishing this. Huh? Guess how much it is? Maybe. 25 30 38 50 not only is a 2% portion this is also a 2% budget yeah thank you nanesh for joining us in our adventure where can people find you or you can visit me on youtube my channel name is nomadic nanesh and if you guys want to explore more travel guide in singapore check out my videos over here i'll yeah. see you there okay maybe one day we'll be on the wall yeah <laughs>